Hey everyone, Jerry here, and we are back in Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. Now, last time I know I mentioned that we wanted to start developing, uh, let's see, this area over here behind the, um, the Great Sinks Railway. Not Railway, Raceway. Um, but, so far we haven't received any of the uh, gentle ride that I actually wanted to put back here. Um, like, I've been researching stuff, and what I've gotten so far is trams and an elevator. And since this is a very flat pa park, um, the elevator here is completely worthless for us. Unless we actively build a different layer, and that's, that just doesn't make sense. The trams are quite nice. Um, potentially quite interesting. Um, they look nice. But, um, as I said, as long as we don't have any rides to put back here, I don't see a large reason to, to get them. Um, our general rides are still very much only the outdoor stuff, so whenever it starts raining, everyone just basically stops what they're doing because no one wants to get wet. So I've decided that what we're going to do instead is um, get another big money mover, so get a big roller coaster with a lot of capacity. And then we're going to put it back here and basically curve around here. Intermingle with this one a bit. Pop. No? Ah, oh, it's one of those trigger ones that just dash out of the way. So the question is, which roller coaster do we want? Um, we want one that is, first of all, has some long trains, has some good amount of capacity. We want one which is, um, it, it needs to have the, um, uh, what's it called, bank curves, so we can kind of keep the intensity and the nausea rating of it down. So that means these two are out at least, um, so are actually the entire first line is out. So we're down on the steel roller coasters here. The junior one is not an interesting. The mini roller coaster with individual cars is not really the capacity we want. The spiral roller coaster, it doesn't have the bank curves. So that kind of puts us on to either the stand up or the looping or one of these down here, twister roller coaster. Um, I think of all these, I think we're gonna go for the looping roller coaster and get some good amount of loops in there. Like you can see the, the design here, that's really quite neat. Um, however, in terms of money, um, I've been playing a little bit and paying off some loan. Basically, I put the money in, into um, ripping the loan so we could just save those couple of uh, dollars every month for the loan interest. Um, so the question is, what exactly do we want to do with this one? Um, like, as you can see, there are some nice designs here. Um, this one is a very short one, very cheap one. Just a quick up and down and round and round and then it's done. Um, I think we could do something similar to this, just, uh, but I do believe we want to do custom design. Now the station, um, let's see, we have paths here of course, um, which would then need to go around or across, just right here if we put the entrance over here. If we put the entrance over here, we also don't have any way to get the path there unless we go above or underground. So we might as well just put it back here where we can actually see uh, what, we do, what we're doing. Now this one is going to be a bit in the way. So if we do... Yeah, if we do it like this... Good long station there. Alright. Um, that's what all roller coasters we need. Some height to it. I actually thought this one could lift uh, steeper than it can. I guess not. Really? Then I wonder if it can do a launch start. Continue circus. Power launch. Yeah, we can do a power launch. I think we're going to go with that then. So we do a power launch, get a, get a bit of height on it. Um, just so people have something to do. And then we start. Getting some speed on it here. Now this, I don't think it'll have enough, no, maybe not, we'll see. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to get a, a nicely powered horn, uh, start on that before we can get through this this bit here, but if we can get through this bit here then I guess I reckon we have a good good starting point. 
do a nice big curve over these, this roller coaster here. Can we have it come down here? That's too much. So, no, not, not that. Let's see, we want the nest bend right here. How, 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 how much can we get it above? Or above, below maybe? If we could get it all the way below this one. No. That's it. Right, just a bit more speed then. And we'll Gotta come down here. Now this one's coming right into the track there, yeah, exactly. So if we do we have room for a loop here? We do. And then narrow turn here. I think we wanna straighten it out here. Actually let's um, get the on right photo section there. No, that's too that's too tall. Okay, well how about here then? There we go. And now we wanna slow it down a bit. Uh, what happened? Now, we still haven't had any sort of um, pull-up gravity-based thing in this. We only have the, the power launch. So we're going to have to count that that's going to be enough. Um, I'm hoping it will be. I'm also hoping that we can... I didn't want an expand. I want power loop. Or a vertical loop, rather. And... No, no, not that. That won't do. Won't do. See, we don't have. We haven't really used the, the vertical part of this roller coaster design a lot. But I don't really think we need that, um, to be honest. What we do want, though, is. Um, let's just see if we can actually even complete this one. So if we go. Continue circuit, now we go. Power launch launch speed, I think we need to increase this a bit. So it manages that first climb. Nice and slow around the corner. Get slightly building up speed to the loop over here. Ver just barely makes it. This one might be a bit tricky. It makes it just barely with these 61 kilometers per hour here. So I think we're gonna put it up to 67 and then test it properly. Um, now because of the power launch we can only do one train here. But it's it doesn't seem to be taking like a long time to actually complete the, uh, the track. So as you can see it's doing a lot smoother with the, um, the slightly extra speed here. And it doesn't seem to be curving too badly. Like the if we look at the graphs here, um, in terms of vertical G's, we want the lateral G's, that's the one that So this I think is the end turn here. Yeah I think the end we need to redesign the end turn over here. So if we curve it, 
There we go. We don't need that long station anyway. And apparently our park is disgusting. That's always fun. Alright, start testing that again. I think we'll see. Where is it so disgusting? There's a bit of stuff of gunk over here and there. Yeah, let's 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 find our handyman and quickly get him to clean up the mess that people make. And see what's hot stuff look over here. That's quite alright. Everyone seems to be enjoying the rides here. Uh, we have people coming in on both the Brinkity Fun Ride and the Skull Splash Mountain. Seeming to enjoy that. In terms of money, yeah, we spend a bit on this roller coaster. Um, but hopefully it'll end up paying itself in again quickly. See, we got the max level G's from 3 down to 1.84 by curving or banking this uh, corner here. So high, high, medium, that's actually pretty good. Ride time, 33 seconds. Um, we can't make the train any longer, so we'll have to settle for this. Yeah, okay, so we need a name for this one. Um, it's in the Wild Wild West, and it's curving around a lot. So we need something, let's see... We have the bodacious curves. There we go. Alright, now we need to make a path over here somehow. Um, the question is whether it would be easier to take it underground or do, if we want to try and navigate through this maze of stuff here. With an above ground pass path. The above ground path will of course um, be more interesting for people to walk on. That's the um, ma ma mainly because they'll be able to like see the, the scenery and such. So if we, whoops, I don't want to do that. Nope. This way then. Alright, uh, that's that done. Can we sneak underneath here? Yeah, we can. Whoops. Wrong button. Good sn snaky path here. There we go. And of course, we have the. Let's see, we need to paint this one. It doesn't fit in that well. First of all, we have the wooden entrance. Then we have the main color scheme. Um, I actually think we do want this one to kind of stand out a bit. So maybe that orange and then... No, not white. The red is too dark here. Let us try something... No, that, 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 that's just strange. Yeah, it's very strange. So let's stick with that, something like this. Maybe put it over slightly on the dark one. There we go. Now, since we only have one train, it doesn't really matter if all trains are the same color or not. Um, admission price, how much is this one? 320? Well, let's put this one up to 350. 350. And we have on ride photos, of course. Get some extra money out of the poor people. And people are already starting to come over here. Excellent. Now let's get some benches going on this path here. People want the benches. And I would imagine they want some trash cans as well. Not quite sure why. And the hey, uh, the path has already been... Let's... Puke down. Oops. There we go. Get rid of that. See, people are starting to come in here. I've discovered already that that's the path. Um, do we want to maybe put a sign? Big, ro big roller coaster this way. Dum dums. 
There we go. And... Wah, wah, wah. That one. Is that one even playing, playing music as well? Yeah, I think we're gonna get rid of the Wild West music. We need something different for... Uh... So let's have this one play. Not Wild West. We'll have it play. Let's see. Let's get some medieval style in here. So people are trying to move out for the first time. Let's see what they're doing. Screaming like little children. But it does. They do seem to enjoy it. Judging from the sound, at least. Now, of course, the in terms of the uh, the, the GeForce rating and such, um, the uh, the quick acceleration in the start uh, does kind of. Uh, it doesn't give any lateral G's, of course, but it gives. It should give some vertical G's and kind of get people. Yeah. Up. It, it looks like a lot of them just went back in to try again. Immediately. What are people thinking of it now? Really good value. Really good value. Really great. Too intense for me. All right. So if we do this, let's swap around the prices for a bit. I mean, we want this one to be a, a big money maker, of course, so that's kind of the whole point of this scenario. Filling the park with big money makers, as you can see, we've kind of been steadily making more and more profit each month, except for March for some reason. Quit, remove that. People. Yeah, they're, they're, it's going through the queue pretty fast, but there's not really a lot of people queuing up for it. I think we're gonna invest the money in a short. It's not here. It's in here. A short marketing campaign for the brand new one. There we go. That should mean that people will get to it. I think we need a new handling in here. And your patrol area will be food court and these paths between the park. So you're just going around a circle here. And then we have, let's see, it's... I don't too much your... I do. Your patrol area, we need you over here as well. Alright. And then I do believe if we look and... I should have swapped that, shut that down. Mr. Henderman 3 here, um, your patrol area, yeah, you have over here and the path there. How about you cancel that path and then go over here instead and actually clean up on this, this side of the park. Alright, that seems to be people, or the um, staff set up. In terms of mechanics, Yes, I'm fine. I don't think... I do not know if I have a problem with security. You see, the most people in our park feel that they're sick. And a lot of them need to go to the bathroom. The vandalism here is really bad. Um, okay, so we do have vandalism coming in now. That means we might need a security guard. I'm not quite sure how, to s how exactly the vandalism looks um, and whether the handyman can actually fix the benches or we have to replace them manually. Like, there are some benches there which have been uh, vandalized. But that's the only thing I can see right now. Like, I don't know if these people are sitting on broken benches or. And I think if we look closely, I believe this trash can. One of these trash uh, trash cans here might be broken. So let's just quickly get rid of that. I don't know if that one's broken as well. It's kind of hard to judge. Renegade Fun Run is broken down. Beautiful. 
Alright, our advertising campaign seems to have worked. Everyone's just queuing up for this one now. And sees profit. <laughs> really? 13,000 per hour? And this one is doing what? Too fast despite being completely full on queue. So yeah, in terms of making money, capacity is king. Merry-go-round. Hey, we got something that's covered up. All right. So, look, guys, look forward to the next episode where we build a bloody merry-go-round. Yay! So yeah, with with our big, big new money move here, um, I believe we're gonna call this an episode. This has been Rollercoaster King 2. I'm Jerry, and I hope you guys enjoyed.